Hey guys. So, um, it's my comedy birthday. It was my technical uh, thing that my comedy birthday was June 28th. Even now, I'm having a hard time remembering it, and I technically missed it. But I remembered it now, so I'm celebrating it now. Uh, every year, uh, I'd like to celebrate the first time I started doing stand up by doing something special. And so this year, I've decided that I'm going to. Uh, read through a couple of old premises that I never put on stage. I'm not saying I won't put them on stage at some point. I'm just saying these are, this is the earliest account of my written stand-up jokes. And I'm going to read them and try to explain my mindset. And, uh, or maybe I'll just, like, read them straight through. <laughs> and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Maybe I'll explain them. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm not even factoring these out as, like, jokes I might still do. I'm only going to do bits that I haven't put anywhere. Um, I have, my name is Zero. Uh, this is where I go into what my name is. And it's, uh, I, I reference the kid from Halls. Like how everybody sees my name. And like they always go to like two places. They either go the kid from Holes or the dog from Nightmare Before Christmas. But nobody ever goes to this very obscure chocolate bar that I found which I feel like is like just there. To me, all flat, all mobs are flash mobs because nobody's ever planning a, a mob. You just, you guys just get angry and then you start destroying stuff. Uh, I want to make a flash mob where it's just like me and 30 people running in one direction in a panic just to see how many people we can get to run with no explanation. Uh, all, all this note says is stand up if you want to be funny after every joke just say it's stupid this wasn't a, a rule this this was a bit <laughs> um farts follow you like hey did you think i was staying back there <laughs> essentially the idea is that like yeah you, whenever you fart if you try to like move away from the area you'll notice that the smell will follow you Black uh, Disney lessons. This is like a very very early pres uh, premise of the Disney girls bit. If you know my stuff, then you know what I mean. Cinderella's lesson is to work hard and it'll work out. Uh, Snow White's lesson. I don't know what it is, and the black girl's lesson is you need to chill. Like like warriors versus warriors. So there's this old movie called The Warriors. And um, it's about a bunch of New York gangs, and they all have themes, like the baseball players or the rollerbladers, and, and the Warriors is one of those gangs. And in the movie, they go, Warriors, come out to play. And in my mind, I thought it was funny to think of Warriors as, like, people who are very worried. Like, people who are, like, worried, and they're in their house, and somebody's like, Warriors come out to play yeah. oh my god I don't know man what happens if I go outside something bad might happen this is, says quicksand porn I'm pretty sure I overheard somebody else was doing a bit and in it they briefly like they, they didn't touch on it at all they just said yeah weird stuff like quicksand porn and then they kept moving and I was like I'm, I've never heard of that and I didn't know it was a thing and I have done no research into it. I have not looked up quicksand porn, but in my mind, the idea is like it's kind of a challenge game where you have to have sex and be done before you get, die of quicksand. <laughs> Twilight, <laughs> Twilight, Edward is 100 years old. Not to be racist, but he did what all vampires do and turned her into a vampire. So the, the entirety of that whole book, that, given that I've never really watched the whole thing, I've never really seen the whole movie, um, I find it very interesting that all the books lead up to her, him doing essentially what all vampires do. The first couple is like him fighting the urge and trying to be really good and keeping her safe from everybody else eating her. And then, at the end of the day, he ends up turning her into a vampire anyway. I thought Thomas Jefferson was on the 20. I don't know where I was going with this bit. It's just honestly a truth. Um, pugs are the reason I know humans could never be God. Again, just truth. I'm kidding. <laughs> like, that's that's the, the bit to me, is that, like, humans... Um, 
created pugs through our forcing different dog breeds to have sex. That's what happens when you give us control and pugs are disgusting creatures. And that's how I feel like humans would be if they had the powers of God. And then last on this one is meme on stage, which is a, a, not a premise. It's just like my overarching idea. I feel like a lot of comedians have an idea of what they want to do with their comedy. And I still kind of hold to this. I like the idea of creating a meme on the stage, but I don't, I haven't figured that out yet or what to do with it or what that even means as a whole. But yeah, those are a couple of early stand-up premises that I had and where my brain was at at the time. So yeah, I have way more, uh, but this video is already kind of longish for me. So if you want to hear more of these, uh, let me know. Uh, if not, thank you for watching this video. Uh, zero. Ow. Man, I'm horrible at transitions.